EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. Street along with you. The excitement's building up for the start of this bowl game, and it looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. The Broncos come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Louisville is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Boise State loves to run the football, and then that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today. And Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Kicks it off. Number 85 takes it at the 8. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. Number 23 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Inside you. And he's taken down. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 32. He drops back. He's going left. Got it. And down he goes. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. They line up in an eye. You'll get the call again. Brought down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 36. They line up in the shotgun. Bad snap. Looks. He'll dump this one off. Complete. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 30. They line up in the jumbo set. He'll be stopped just short of the first down. Ah, oh, so close yet so far away. 
É Toriero. They gotta go for it here. On the ground with the tailback. Sheds that one. And they make the stop. And the tailback picks up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 27. Boise State lines up with five defensive backs. And he's hit as he throws. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Bronco line up in a nickelback. It's a direct snap. Brought down. He'll get nine yards on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 18-yard line. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. They're going to pitch it. They'll drop him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Another fourth down facing this offense, but they did convert earlier this drive. Look for a run right up the gut, and down he goes. Well, they'll turn it over on downs. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. First and ten, ball on the 18-yard line. The Bronco come out in a shotgun. He tosses it short. It falls incomplete. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18. Number two comes to the line with three wide. And they make the stop, and they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yards, third down. That'll move them forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get free yards, you'll take it. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 23. Number 22 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Drops back to pass. Short toss. And it's caught. Brought down. That won't be enough to move the chain. That's what I like to see. Chris tackling by the defense so he can't get away and get enough for the first. Right. Looks like they're going to put it away here. He punts it. He drops it. He let that one get away from him. And Brad, anytime a player muffs a return like that, it sticks around in the back of his mind. You need to just forget about it and move on. They'll go to work at the 47-yard line. One man backfield. Inside handoff. And he's taken down. Four yards on that play. Second it's second down and six, six to go. Ball on the 49. 49 yard line. The Cardinals set up in the gun. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting... Two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 49-yard line. 
Boise State lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Oh, great catch. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The cards come out in the ace formation. Throws it to the outside. Got his man. And he's tackled in the open field. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. About 12 yards out. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. And they couldn't hook up on that one. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. Over the middle. Can't wrap him up. Touchdown, Louisville. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number one, Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number nine takes it to 15. He's hit and got away. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Number 22 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They are going to pitch it. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. Calling these types of plays is all about timing. And if you don't set up the defense, they're not going to bite on it. Yeah, and the only bite there was the offensive coordinator. Because his call almost backfired. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Boise State goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. At the 40. Inside the 30. And he's all the way down to the 25-yard line. Let's look at how they rank in offensive production for the year. Wow, these guys can't be stopped. I hope this defense is ready for them. Hey, this offense is one of the best we've seen. They know how to get the ball down the field. Toss. Spin move. And he's stopped behind the line. Just a great play there by the linebacker. Yeah, he showed his speed as he knifed into the backfield to bring down the ball carrier. Right. Here's how the defense has done so far this year. Not too well. Let me tell you something. They're not even close to good, but they're still out there playing hard every week. The Cardinals bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Batted ball. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Third down and 12 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. 
the Bronco. Camacho in three wide. He's under pressure. Complete. They'll bring him down. It's not enough for the first. Kirk, it looked like to me he just released it too early. Yeah, I agree, Coach. You need to be a little bit more patient in the pocket, especially on third down. Number 85 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. It's up. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. First and ten, ball on the 26. The Cardinals come out in the ace formation. Inside give, he jukes him. And they make the stop, maybe got two feet on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball, Ball on the 27. Boise State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. It's tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Boise State brings in their nickel package. Short toss, and it falls incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Fourth and nine, ball on the 27-yard line. Number 15, set to punt. Number 15, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number one, fields at 46. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Louisville brings in the nickel here. Here's the give. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He's under some heat. Throws this one out to the right. And it's incomplete. The defense was able to supply some pressure here and break up the scheme, forcing the incompletion. Third and 14, ball on the 40. Four wide. He steps up under heavy pressure. They'll make the sack. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 11, back to the gentleman. Number 42, punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number one, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 22. Personal foul. Kick catching interference on the kicking team. 15 yards, and spot the foul, first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. The Cardinals come out showing three wide. He drops back, steps up, looking across the middle, and he can't hang on to it. The wideout unable to catch that pass. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 37. 
the cards line up with three wide. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Third it's third down and 10. ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 15, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number one, he at the 38. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. They'll take over at the 42-yard line. Number two is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Down the middle. And he can't make the catch. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Hold it. On the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still first down. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's first and a mile. Ball on their own 32. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. For the interception. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for a terrific read and nice catch. Set up shot at the 45-yard line. They'll start the drive at the 45-yard line. First down. The Broncos bring in their dive package. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, Coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. And it's caught. Brought down. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Louisville calls a timeout. Third and four. Ball on the 49. Louisville lines up in a goal line set. On the ground with a tailback. Little shake and bake move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 15 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number one calls for the fair catch. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. The Bronco line up in a goal line formation. And he's tackled, and they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and seven, ball on the 26-yard line. The 
cards. Line up with six defensive backs. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Louisville, seven, Boise State, nothing. Louisville has got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number nine fields it at the 18. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 33. The defense lines up with six DB. They hand it off, and they got him for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. <laughs> You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 31. Six DBs in the lineup. They keep it on the ground with a tap And he's taken down. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 39. The Bronco line up with two tight ends. On the ground, right side. And they make the stop. Not much going on that drive. Nothing at all. But you got to give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 42 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards. So clipping on the play will send the offense backward. You're always taught that if you can see a player's name on his jersey, don't block it. Hey, apparently he didn't see it. And another thing he might not see is more playing time. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's 2nd and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. The halfback picks up a yard. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 19. Louisville lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Pressure coming. Throws it deep downfield. And he's got it! And they bring him down. And another solid completion there. I like this kid a lot. He keeps it simple. He just goes out there and completes passes. The last pass netted him over 2,000 yards on the year. And that's a pretty good year, in my opinion. First and 10, ball on the 33. Nickel defense. A good 10 yards on the pickup. Right. 
Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 23, alone in the backfield. He tosses it short. Complete. Touchdown, Louisville! Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. Tacks on the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Louisville 14, Boise State nothing. to kick number nine and number one back deep to return and this one's a short kick number nine fields it at the 18 so before the offense hits the field let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports they'll go to work at the 28 yard line They come out with a big set. Nice play fake. He laterals the ball. They'll drop in for a loss. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 24. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. He's going left. And that one's fallen incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep on the left side. It's intercepted. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. Number 17 with three wide receivers. The Breaks one. They'll bring him down. The halfback runs for four yards. Second, Second and six. six. Ball on the 47. On the yard line. Nickel defense. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. They get about five yards from the halfback. Third down and a yard. Ball in the 42. And they hit him in the backfield. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got the number face mask. Over defense. Five-yard penalty. And they're just helping them out on this drive. Which is the last thing you want to do. They need to maintain a level of focus on the field and stop getting these silly penalties. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. 
The Broncos bring in their dive package. He's going right, and he can't make the catch. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Number 23 is the single setback. Back to pass. Looking. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. Great defensive play by the cornerback. The intended receiver on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Boise State puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. He drops back. He's rolling right. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. In and out of his hand. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. Let's see if the defense is ready for him here. They need this pass. He's going right. Brought down. They hold on fourth down. Now that's how you get a team motivated. I wouldn't be surprised to see their offense take the field with an explosive power attack. They'll set up shot at the 30. The Bronco come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. The back gets three on the carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 33. Boise State lines up in a double tight set. So try to power it with a fullback. And he's taken down. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Louisville 14, Boise State nothing. Third and six, ball on their own 34. The Bronco line up with three wide. Nice play fake, looks, he's got to throw it in a hurry, and he drops it. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Throw right at him. He just didn't catch it. Four and six. Ball on the 34 yard line. They line up to put this one away. Number 42, punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 20, fields it at the 38. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll get the ball here at the 38. The Cardinals have five receivers on this play. He steps up, looking across the middle. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 49. Louisville lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. He's looking. Under pressure. Throws back across field. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. First and ten, ball on the 37. Cut, cut, cut. 
Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. He drops back. Over the middle. And got it complete. Great pass play. This is the result they expect when they run this play. It wouldn't surprise me if they run it again and again right here. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going right. It's deflected. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. About 12 yards out. Ace backfield. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. He's got three touchdown passes in this game. And that last one was the best of the bunch, if you'd ask me. Great throw, great kick. the PAT. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Is lined up for the kickoff. Number nine. And it's a short kickoff. Number one takes it at the 14. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 29. Number 22 lines up as a single back. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Let's it fly. Caught. He's all the way down to the 31-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. Boise State comes to the line with three wide. He's under some heat. He catches another one. And they make the stop. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket under heavy pressure. Across the middle. And it's caught. And he's tackled. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Boise State lines up in a shotgun set. Throw. Brought down. And they were stopped for a minimal gain on the play. That was a sensational effort by the defense. They were all over that pass. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Look. He's in trouble. And down he goes. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. I don't 
don't think they have any choice here, guys. They're going to go for it. Across the middle. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Guys, this tight end has the potential to be a crucial part of this offense. Potential? Heck, I think he already is. You're right, Kirk. That's because he sells his block so well that the defense leaves him alone. is the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. Number four, back to return. Here's the onside kick. Let's get the call. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball is They'll be set up with good field position after the kicker sent that one out of bounds. It's the kicker's job to send that ball deep, so we messed up big time. They'll take over at the 35-yard line. And they got him for a loss. Boise State takes a timeout. Right. Second and 11 coming up. Ball in the 34. Yeah. They line up in an eye. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. Boise State calls a timeout. Congratulations to our players of the game, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Drops back to pass, throws it out there, batted ball. Incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. They send out the punting unit. Number one. Number 15. Punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Number one. He's at the 35. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. They'll set up shop at the 37. Guards line up in a nickel back. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Here comes the pressure. He's looking for his man. Oh, what an interception. And they come up with another turnover. Now the defense is playing very opportunistic out here today. That was their third interception of the game. They'll go to work at the 14-yard line. Louisville comes out with an eye formation. A little misdirection. And they make the stop. Boise State takes a timeout. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 16-yard line. Louisville is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. Right. 
Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 14. They'll bring in their dime package. Little handoff. He spins. And he's taken down. Solid play by the defense, and that'll bring up fourth down. That wasn't a bad game there, but getting first downs are way more important than your rushing average. So they're set to punt this one away. And this ball game's over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Louisville faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final score in this one, Louisville 21, Boise State 6. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.